you guys probably cannot see me. Um, I'll have to look at the the footage while I'm editing. Um, if you cannot see me, I'll just be inserting a whole bunch of random pictures here. So, a little bit of a story time. So I walk into work and I'm just like a horrible mess. I'm just angry and frustrated. I really didn't want to be there. And my friend at work, she's like, congratulations, not much longer. And I just looked at her like, the fuck? Like, what in the world are you talking about? Like, I had no clue. I thought maybe she meant something I posted on Facebook or something. And my other coworker was like, yeah, you're leaving soon. I was like, what, where am I going? Like, what are y'all talking about? Because there was some like, office drama <laughs> uh, where so many of us are trying to leave and I guess because of seniority and stuff like I wasn't going to be leaving anytime soon uh, but now I am and they told me I'm going to be working at the airport oh, I'm so excited and so I was like no nah, shut your face like no that ain't happening like this other person is supposed to be leaving, well, not me, like, whatever, y'all, y'all just need a hush, like, I'm not in the mood, you know, I was, like, getting ready to just rip on the new one, and they're like, oh, yeah, like, we heard the phone call, da, 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 like, this is your last week here, I was like, what, are you flipping serious, they're like, yeah, so, I called my old manager, I was like, dude, <laughs> do not play with me, I was like, I'm not really going to the airport, and he's like, yes, and I was like, shut the front door, OMG, like, guys, I'm going to the airport, oh, I'm so excited, so, like, I'm freaking excited, and I just wanted to share this message with you guys, because not only is it a big Kickstarter for me, and my future, and my dreams, and goals, and plans, but, and like, thank you to my boss, like, I will love him forever for giving me this opportunity, and helping me, like, advance, but I remember when I moved back to Kentucky, I did not have the desire to be a flight attendant yet. I knew I loved traveling and I knew that I had to find something to work for myself so that I could make a living and I just feared it would be just a regular job. It wasn't until later that I discovered, yes, this really is a passion and this is what I can do to be able to do what I love and afford to, for, afford that kind of lifestyle while still trying to afford this lifestyle too. So kind of like the best of both worlds. And oh, I'm just, I'm so excited. So I, I remember coming to Kentucky and I was just feeling so lost and so scared. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? Where am I gonna go? Like, there's gotta be more to life. You know, all those kind of thoughts and feelings. And I was like hired at the most convenient time ever because Aziz had given me $500 when I left Connecticut. He was like, take this money and I'll pay for your phone until you get a job. Which was very generous of him, but he didn't quite hold up to that. Um, so I managed somehow to make $500 last a good six months or so. And I didn't even get food stamps till I think like two months or something before I was here. So how I had made $500 last so long, I have no clue. Cause like when I first moved here, I spent like over a hundred dollars just on like cleaning supplies and organization and just getting settled in. Um, so yeah, I don't know how I made that work, but I did. And my boss literally told me to apply when I had only like $20 left in my pocket. And then I got hired on and everything just went swimmingly. So it was like the perfect time to get this job. It was the perfect location. Um, the hours, you know, it worked out for me good. Like everything just worked out. And I never would have imagined, one, even working at a bank. Two, that I would love my boss and coworkers so much and like that I would actually have fun and enjoy going to work and enjoy doing what I like or like what I'm doing. And then, the, like I never would have thought that my boss would help me 
get to the airport. I remember telling you guys and some other people in my, you know, real life specifically, I was like, mark my words. I even told TSA this. I was like, mark my words. I will be working at the airport, whether it's being a janitor, pushing wheelchairs, working at the freaking KFC. I was like, I don't care what it is, but I will be at the airport until I can make my dreams of being a flight attendant happen. Like, it will happen. And I never thought that I could be working for the company I work for now at the airport. Like, I'm never going into, like, applying for the job and getting the job. I never knew that that was a possibility. In fact, when I wasn't getting enough hours, I had went to the airport to see what kind of hours I could get at the airport, and I saw my bank there, and I went and talked to them, and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, we don't really hire. Like, once you're here, you pretty much stay here. So, basically, sorry, not sorry was the response I got. And here I am going there, and I'm just so flabbergasted at this because I'm just, I know I'm rambling, and I'm sorry, but I'm so excited. I can't believe it. I'm going to the airport, and I just wanted to share this with you guys um, just for excitement on my end, but also to tell you that no matter what, if you want it hard enough, and you know, you're going to do it. Like, you can do it. Don't be afraid to ask people for help. Don't be afraid to use resources or if somebody lends a helping hand, take it. Like, do what you got to do, but just know that whatever you want for in life, you can achieve it. And definitely, definitely, what is meant to be will find a way. I was telling Chris the other night, I am in no way or shape ever going to forgive what has happened or who did all of this to me. But in the end, I'm happy that it went down because it showed people's true colors. And it also led to me and Chris living together, which has been amazing. And we talked about how neither of us now can imagine not living together. Like it's it's been so great and Chris is literally my best friend and I love him so much and he helps me out so much and we just we vibe good together, you know? It's just like we connect and it's amazing and I just I'm going to the airport. I'm so excited about life right now. Like, oh, I just I I want to pee. I am so excited. Oh. But anyway, reach for your dreams, do everything you can, achieve all of your goals. This is 2017, bitches. Like, it's about to go down, all right? Like, I am so flippin' excited. I'm going to the airport, y'all. I'm going to the airport. Just one large leap for me. I am so excited. Woo!